hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to create our own custom segmentation model and then with the help of our own model we are going to detect a plastic bottle garbage on water so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will create our own custom segmentation model which detect some plastic bottles which is basically the garbage on the water surface so for that i have created a new repository i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser plastic trash water segmentation simple and then go to the code and click on download zip it will download our zip format repository as you can see we successfully downloaded our repository now let's just open our folder downloads and this is what our repository right click extract all click on extract and it will extract our folder so just click on the folder and inside that i have mentioned the video file so let's just first watch our video file so friends as you can see this is what our video file where our goal is to detect the plastic bottle trash okay and this is what the plastic bottle this is what the plastic bottle also this is what the plastic bottle also so here only we will detect the plastic bottles because mm, i have created the data set uh, with uh, only for the plastic bottle detection simple you can detect uh, multiple uh, uh, garbage classes like here we have some other classes but uh, I have created the model which only detect the plastic bottles that's it so this is what our video file so our goal is to detect this plastic bottle trash on the water simple so I have created the labels with the help of RoboFlow and if you open this txt file this txt file inside that I have mentioned the the project link simple so universe roboflow.com this is the project link which you want to simply paste inside your browser but first let's just open thony python id and we will install the packages which we need so of course we need opencv hyphen python so pip space install space opencv hyphen python is the first package hit enter it will install opencv hyphen python on our windows 11 machine then cls for clearing the shell or we can say for clearing the cmd then we will run the main package which is ultralytics so pip install ultralytics pip install ultralytics and then hit enter it will install ultralytics on our windows 11 machine done this is the packages which we need we need opencv hyphen python and then we need ultralytics for segmentation done so we will first create our model so as i mentioned you need to simply copy paste the text link so the text file which i have mentioned inside that we have our project link so just copy it and open the browser new tab and just press ctrl plus v and hit enter remember one thing friends here you will ask for the register so simply you can register with your gmail id so when it asks to register or just click on sign up and mention your gmail id that's it just sign up with your gmail id so uh, this is what the project as i mentioned i have uh, created 97 images of course you can add more images simple you can add more classes also i have here only one class which is the plastic bottle that's it so 97 images which i have trained as a segmentation so this is what our segmentation model and then uh, here we want to simply go in a data set and click on the data set button and then uh, we have here download data set button simple so if you click on download data set button just click on it and we want to select here a format so of course we are going to use ultralytics latest format which is the yolo 11 so just go just click on select format and scroll down and yolo 11 select it and then click on continue and then it will create the code so this code from yolo 11 we want to paste inside our google collab file so let's just first open our collab so friends i have opened the google collab here just click on upload click on browse and then go to the downloads our repository plastic trash and inside that i have mentioned the segmentation collab file 
just click on it open and it will upload our file so we successfully upload our file just go to the runtime click on change runtime type select python 3 select t4 gpu click on save done now click on connect it will connect with our google collab machine we connected successfully now let's just run our first cell so click on first cell done now let's just install ultralytics on our google collab so friends we successfully installed ultralytics now let's just import our packages from ultralytics import yolo from ipython.display import display image and now we will cross check if our uh, ultralytics is perfectly installed so for that we will use yolo 11-sec.pt model and we are going to use dog.jpg from roboflow.com image so let's just run our next cell so friends we successfully run our cell it means we successfully installed ultralytics so if you click on this small folder icon you can see we have here dog.jpg image which is our main image so this is what our main image and we run the segmentation model yellow 11n model on this dog.jpg image and the result is save inside runs then a segment then predict and then we have dog.jpg with result so here it is as you can see we have segmentation and we have rectangle box means we successfully installed yellow 11 segmentation model ultralytics done now the next cell here we want to mention our code so here it is as you can see we have your from to from so just open roboflow and this is the download code section so just copy it from from to yolo 11 just copy it and this from to from just delete it and press ctrl plus v it will copy paste our new code our new project code simple done now let's just run the code So friends we successfully run our code now if you click on again this small folder icon here it is as you can see we created data set folder so we have here data set folder and inside that we have plastic trash freedom check so this is what our folder name and inside that we have trace train valid and data.yml file so just double click on data.yml file and inside that as you can see i have mentioned the plastic trash this is the class name as i mentioned you can mention any class name also you can train multiple classes simple so i have only trained one class which is the plastic trash and here we want to select first the path so we want to mention the full path for train folder for valve folder and for test folder so start with train so remove the old path remove it go to the train folder click on this three dot go to the copy path it will copy the path and come over here and control plus v it will paste our new path then val remove the old path go to the valid click on three dot copy path come over here and then just press ctrl plus v then test same way remove the old path go to the test three dot copy path and just paste inside data.yml file then now press ctrl plus s it will save our data.yml file now we have done and now we will use here yellow 11 nano model which is the segmentation nano model and then here we want to mention the path of our data.yml so again data.yml double click copy path then remove the old path then press ctrl plus v it will paste our new path so you have to simply go data.yml three dot click on it copy path and just remove the old path and paste the new path don't remove this data is equal to so this data is equal to is basically we want to paste our data.yml full path done the epoch 100 image size 640 now we are ready and we are going to simply run our training so friends our training is started one out of 100 so it will take some time meanwhile i will pause video so friends our process is completed and we created our own custom model so if you click on this small folder icon runs then segment then train then weights folder and then we have our base.pt model so if you click on this three dot click on download and it will download our base.pt model we download our model minimize all these things close 
and then open the folder downloads and base.pt right click cut move the model inside our plastic trash folder that's it now let's just open yolo 11 sec hyphen track dot pi and then here i have already mentioned the base.pt model and our video file which is t2.mp4 now let's just run our code so this is what our code for segmentation and for rectangle also so if you run the code So friends as you can see this is what our result as I mentioned it's perfectly detecting the plastic bottle as a plastic trash. I have created only 97 images so you can simply mention more images so but this is the result with segmentation as you can see we have a red color segmentation and then we have the green color uh, rectangle box so red color segmentations in the sense we have the mask on the bottle also we are tracking the object so track id is there the name is there and green color rectangle is there so we successfully detecting the plastic bottle trash on the water i hope you will learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye